This is the first of its kind in the state and possibly in the nation, a newly constructed operations center with the purpose of keeping students and staff in a growing suburban school district safe. WRTV's Nikki Dementri joins us again, finding out what this operations center is designed to do and why many think it's necessary to have. This is a long time coming for for a lot of us. It's a first of its kind project in the state and one of few in the country, the Center Grove Emergency Operations Center. Three, two, one. 254 is open. Years of planning, 12 months of construction, and $5 million later, the 15,000 square foot building is the new headquarters for Center Grove Police and houses a full service fire station shared by White River Township Fire and Barkersville Fire. There's also a satellite office for the Johnson County Sheriff's Department. We're always stronger working together. They say two heads are better than one, and we're putting four to five different agencies together in one building. Think of how awesome that's going to be and all that we can do in the future. The operations center sits on South Morgantown Road, about half a mile from Center Grove High School, elementary, and middle schools. As beautiful as this is, this is a game changer for our community, and someone will be alive long after we're gone. Officials say the facility's location will improve response times, particularly at the schools. One of the things that probably keeps all school administrators awake at night is, are we doing enough to protect our kids? And, and this station gives us something that not only does it protect our students and our staff, but it helps better protect our whole community. Center Grove Assistant Superintendent Bill Long says the idea was born out of a 2018 security assessment. The district then was told it needed to improve response times and live monitoring. These cameras um, are all analytical cameras, and so um, they're, they're constantly learning. One person from Center Grove Police is now dedicated to monitoring about 700 cameras in this room. So now we have this great facility, now we have to master it. Center Grove Police Chief Ray Jackson says the new venture is personal for him. Not only has he seen the department grow, but he's a Center Grove parent. It, it means more to me because where we started, we had nothing. Working for you. Nikki Dementri, WRTV. Training at the new facility continues for the police department. Center Grove Police Chief Ray Jackson says the department is still waiting on a few things to come in, but it should have everything in-house in the next one to two weeks.